return for home in the King George. It's Broom challenged now by Adeo. And Adeo goes up to Broom and puts his head in front. Mishriff charging down the outside, not doing love too many favours. Then Lone Eagle is Adeo from Mishriff. Love struggling to get on terms as they race on towards the final furlong and a half. Adeo is holding Mishriff at the moment. Love trying hard inside the final furlong. Adeo for Godolphin and William Buick by a length and a half to Mishriff. And he's holding on. He's relentless. And Adeo, the first horse since Galileo, the first derby winner since Galileo to win the King George. And a jubilant William Buick beats off Mishriff. Love in third. Yeah, look, the King George is, uh, it's, it's, you would say, apart from the Derby, it's, you know, in this country, it's the most um, prestigious you know, mile and a half race. Uh, it's a midsummer highlight, it's a jewel in the crown. Um, you know, it was sort of talked about beforehand, it was 20 years ago since Derby when it won the King George, and, you know, I, obviously I was uh, elated. Uh, I am elated, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm also, um, you know, very grateful to be able to ride a horse like him. He's, an amazing horse and I thought what he did today was, was spectacular and he's just got a, a fantastic mentality he knows how to use his, his strengths now and you know it was a stellar King George mischief and, and love um, you know they're great horses in their own right so um, for Adi to, to beat him the way he did is of course of course I'm very impressed the ground was genuine good to firm there was a bit of spring in it so look I, I, I think a horse like him, who, who travels and has qualities like he does, you, you wouldn't want um, the ground to be too slow because he wouldn't be able to, to get through that as, as well. Yeah? You know, he won at Epsom, now he won the King George against all the horses. He's won a big field, he's won a small field. Um, he's won a slower ground, he's won a faster ground. So he's very versatile. He's, he is everything a good horse should be. They're both great races, the British Cup Turf and the Japan Cup, they're fantastic races, I've ridden them both. Those races always have to be considered, you know. Um, they're great races. Uh, like you say, obviously the Breeders' Cup this year is at Del Mar and the uh, Japan Cup in Tokyo. So um, one day we'll get there, hopefully.